bless the food and drink of the service as we pray together. Bless us, O oh Lord. These are the gifts which we are about to receive. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Bob. My pleasure. It's on the wrist. <laughs> There's a part of Nazareth right out the window. Uh, looking out over Nazareth is reading our lunch. This is the front of the Church of the Annunciation in Nazareth, the largest church in the Middle East. And the whole story of the Annunciation is told here. You see the angel coming to see Mary. And it says, Angelus Domini. No, I can't say it in Latin, but uh, the angel of the Lord said unto Mary. And then you have here, Verbum Caro Factum. The word flesh was made to inhabit and nobis among us. Here are the prophecies from the Old Testament about the coming Messiah. The virgin shall conceive, and, he, and also and he will be called Emmanuel. And you have the four gospels here. You've got John and Luke and Mark and Matthew. And uh, there it is, it's uh, just a magnificent church. This is our group praying the mystery of the Annunciation in the very place where it happened. That is the cave where Mary lived with Joachim and Anna when the angel came to announce to her the birth of Jesus. The angel came right to the entrance of that cave and gave her that announcement. And the churches remembered this place for 2,000 years. So we always pray the mystery of the Annunciation while we're here. And on the altar, which you'll see in a moment in a picture, there's Latin that says, the word became flesh here because if it weren't for this place where the word became flesh it didn't happen in Bethlehem it happened here and if it had not the word had not become flesh here there would be no Bethlehem or Jerusalem and the altar there says the word became flesh here explaining his own church of the Annunciation here in Nazareth. This is his home parish. It's a liar. But they did die. If something died, what was it? That life of God in their souls died. And then their bodies followed later. It wasn't supposed to be like that. And because of that, they lost that grace. And the rest of us were all born with a genetic deficiency. Because it says Adam's son was born in the image of Adam. He had something missing. He was deficient. And all of us are born with that deficiency. And we need to have it replaced. And that's what sanctifying grace is. And you, you can't join the church like joining a club. You have to be born into this. This is a new family. You can't just join it. You have to be born into it. And the way you're born into it is by being born again through baptism. And then you become part of the family, adopted members of the family.
We're having Mass at the Church of the Annunciation. Right below us is the grotto where the angel came to Mary. Right there is where the angel came to Mary and said, Hail Kahare Tomeni, the one who is made full of grace. Now I understand this account of the Annunciation. We've been downstairs in that very simple place where Mary encountered Gabriel, the angel sent by the Lord. You stop and listen, suspecting the death of your prayer. Church that stood here to the generations of the church itself. Well, that yes is, we now know, the yes. After Mass, we had time to pray for a half an hour and then headed back to the Ron Beach Hotel. It's a beautiful place, and uh, people love being right on the water of the Sea of Galilee, and we get to see the fishermen go out at night and come back in in the morning. There's always delicious food here, too. Everybody raves about the great food at the Ron Beach. And uh, we also had an hour for reflections and meditation together on uh, what we saw today. People always enjoy that, too. And then a good night's sleep.